Hey there, I am here to take a look at another deck of cards. This is the Black Hudson deck from Theory 11. Let's jump right into it. So the deck was, according to Theory 11, inspired by a legendary factory on the banks of the Hudson River, produced playing cards from 1856 until 1871. And so their factory building kind of served as the inspiration for this deck. Uh, looking at the tuck case, it is this dark gray, kind of see there, uh, the dark gray tuck case with a matte finish to the case, but most of it is covered in black and gold foil. So if I tilt this here, you can kind of see a little bit of that shine and where all the foil pops in. Uh, on the front here, you've got the uh, factory itself sitting there in the back in mostly gold foil. It says Hudson across the top with a beautiful stylized H, and then premium playing cards, New York. Then you have architectural details coming all the way around. So you have these big columns coming up the side here with the griffin sitting at the top, and then just tons of detail work finishing it out all over the place with little flowers here and almost cathedral style um, finishes here at the top. So really beautiful front to the tuck case. I love all the foiling they do. Uh, you know, Theory 11 always does great work with tuck cases. Uh, sides here, uh, another column with Hudson, and then Theory 11 USA, a couple of flowers and other detail and foil. Exactly the same on the other side. Um, bottom of the tuck case there is your regular old ad copy for Theory 11. And then the top, uh, covered up mostly by the seal, but you can see there it's got the Theory 11 USA and sort of gold and black foil work all the way through. Uh, the back is the same design, not the same color, but the same design as the back of the cards. Uh, just done in tons of foil there, so you can take a look at that there. Uh, we will see the back design of the cards in just a second. And then you have a white and gold foil uh, postage stamp style seal. Um, I do like postage stamp style seals, kind of my favorite look to them. Uh, but there you go, and it just has the big stylized H in the middle. As you open it up, there on the inner flap, Hudson Premium Playing Cards and kind of a sunburst pattern coming through there. And then the Theory 11 logos on the inner flaps there. And as you often get with Theory 11 decks, you have foil going all the way down the box. So this one is a black foil on the gray with that kind of circular design there, a little bit like a stained glass window, and then the H repeated all the way down. So really beautiful tuck case, nicely done, um, kind of to be expected with Theory 11 these days. That's that. Um, let's begin the look at the cards with the back design. So there you go. Uh, it is a really nice, simple, um, despite all the detail, very clean back design, mostly because they did it all in black and white. Uh, it really stands out nicely. All the detail pops out. Really fine artwork all the way through here. Uh, you have a big circular uh, pattern in the back with these architecture tools and then columns coming up the side, very similar to what you saw in the tuck case. Got the griffin sitting at the top, so really beautiful um, architecture-inspired back design here. Um, maybe would have liked a little bit more color in it just to make it a little bit more interesting, but beautiful. And I mean, you can see in there, I mean, even just, you know, down to the dots and the hatching in there, just how much detail went into this back design. Uh, has a medium-thin poker border all the way around, so keeps the cards kind of useful for magic and other purposes like that. So nice back design. Uh, extra cards. You start out with two ad cards. Don't like that. Um, Theory 11 does this on a lot of their decks, not all of them, uh, but I wish they popped out at least one of these ad cards. Honestly, I could do without both of them, but at least pop out one of them and put in a double backer or something. But not uncommon with Theory 11. Get two ad cards. And then the only other extra cards, you get the two jokers. They're identical jokers, uh, as you can see here. And they are this Spanish conquistador sitting there in the middle, either is or is acting like a fountain and spitting the water up into the air. And then he's holding a couple of birds who are catching that water. Um, it says the joker on this banner down the middle, beautiful swirly banner there, and then Theory 11 Hudson at the bottom. So a very cool, interesting uh, back design to, or uh, joker design to it. Do like these jokers, pretty cool. Uh, all in black and white. And then the only other truly custom card in the deck is the Ace of Spades. 
you'll see regular indices in the corner, but then you have this beautiful architecture inspired design that just dominates the middle, a huge design all the way down. It says Ace of Spades at the top. You can, you can kind of see the A in the middle there, and then this forms a bit of a spade there. Theory 11 at the bottom, just really beautifully done with the columns and all of that detail. You've got the crown at the top, so lots of little bits to pick out here. And then you've got, you know, just even flowy bits like the banners and the leaf work coming through. Really nice Ace of Spades design. Uh, reminds me a little bit of if you have the uh, High Victorian decks. Uh, their face cards, uh, the court cards are very similar in style to these, you know, with the labeling of the card at the top and everything. So kind of a similar look to them. So very cool Ace of Spades. The rest of the deck is going to be fairly standard. So nothing special on these. And then the court cards, a little bit of a recoloring. You'll see they're done in red, black, and gold. Um, it's actually gold metallic ink there. Kind of make that out there. Um, and then everything else is going to be fairly standard. Uh, keeps the deck useful for magic and gameplay and things like that. Not quite as interesting of a deck once you get past that ace of spades for sure. Uh, but that is it for the looks of the cards. Uh, as far as handling, you know, it's, it's a Theory 11 deck from the USPC. You've handled the, uh, you know, another one of their decks. I'm sure it handles exactly the same. Beautiful for fans, beautiful for cuts. All that works really nicely. Um, no real complaints about the way this handles. So I think it's a really nice deck for those purposes. Um, no complaints there. Um, so what do we think of the deck overall? Um, tuck case is, as always, an A+. Plus. I think this is, I, I love this tuck case. I think the gray really helps everything pop out. Uh, the cards themselves, back designs are beautiful. Uh, the cards, you know, I just wish they'd carried the theme a little bit deeper into the deck. Um, you know, outside of just doing a custom Ace of Spades, I don't think that too much else was put into this. So I like when they do a little bit of something more interesting with the court cards, thinking like, you know, what they did with the Tavern and the Green deck or Unions. Uh, so I wish they'd done a little bit more there, but all in all, it is a really nice addition to the set. If for no other reason than just seeing this tuck case sitting on the shelf, always kind of brings a little bit of a smile for me. Uh, so definitely worth checking out. I'll put a link for Theory 11, uh, where you can pick these up down in the description. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other decks you're interested in. Uh, consider subscribing for other videos. And that's it for now. I will see you for the next one.